is here at the Comedy Cave, uh, working on my hour that's coming up at the end of March. Uh, I've done, so far, um, five shows, so there's uh, three more to go. Um, two of them being New Year's Eve, and it was great. The crowds were amazing, they're receptive, and it's always nice to be able to do so many shows in a row like this, because then you really get a chance to look at your material, reflect on it, and make the changes, either big changes, small changes, um, and you see the result right away. Uh, are you guys ready for the start of the show, your headliner? Yeah, awesome. Yeah, this guy's absolutely hilarious. Tours all over the world, uh, and he's from Vancouver, and uh, he's been on live at Gotham, and he's here for you right now. Give a big round of applause for Ed Hill, everybody. Give it up for Dale and Dale, everybody. Make some noise for them. Calgary. Good to see you guys. Hello, Asian. Nice to see you. Um, <laughs> I'm sitting here uh, in the comedy condo. This is a pretty standard comedy condo. There's not much here, to be honest. It's very bare bones. Uh, just enough to live. Um, just enough so you can get yourself on the stage and do the jokes and uh, do the shows. And if you take a look, I got my takeout here um, that is probably cold. Uh, my coffee, it's also cold. And um, my lint brush that I used to brush my shirt and my head. Um, believe it or not, when you have no hair, Lynn gets stuck on your head. My computer here, um, I got my books, I bring these so uh, I don't fall asleep on the toilet. Um, I, I read them while I'll take a dump. And uh, yeah, this is, this, is, this is all you got. They got a space heater here that works uh, half the time. So that's why I got two uh, blankets on the bed with my jacket. Because sometimes I'll wear the jacket to go to bed so it's not too cold. You're probably living better than I am. This whole job I have, this profession I have, this, to be different. I gotta stand out as an entertainer. I can't fit in. Like, look, obviously, Ed Hill is not my real name because I don't sell propane by the highway. <laughs> um, it's my first special that I'm going to be filming, um, presented by Comedy Dynamics, which is a company that has worked with many names. A lot of them are my idols and a lot of legends. Um, you know, Mark Maron, um, Winnie Cummings, and I get a chance to partner up with them to film this special of mine um, at the Chan Center at University of British Columbia um, at the Telestudio Theater on March 28th. And I'll be doing two shows and uh, very excited to show people um, what it means um, behind the title Candy and Smiley, which is the title of my special. Um, so hope, um, I hope it goes well. That's, that's, I think the bottom line is I don't wanna, I don't wanna disappoint my parents since that's their names in the title. It's hard to make friends, guys. It's, it's hard, you know? I got, you know, I got a trick you can use it if you want. I tell people about myself. Hope they'll break the ice, ease the tension, we get to talking. So the other day after a show, I was talking to a guy. I was only to speak Mandarin. That's my first language, Mandarin. Anyone here speak Mandarin? No? No one here owns houses in Vancouver? Okay, all right. Um, that's too far, that's too far, sorry. <laughs> now I was telling I speak Mandarin, I was all Mandarin, like my oranges? Like, how does that guy make friends? So the struggle's real, um, but nothing, um, nothing can overpower the moment where you connect with real people. So I gotta head out here in about half an hour um, to head to the club and to be able to tell people your story and then resonate on a level that is um, beyond just conversation is incredible. So um, as much as this, you know, the grind is you know, treacherous, it's it's all worth it in the end, you know. Just you know, and it's it's really about those small, you know, minutes in these um, shows where you, you see one person smile because you know they have the same memories or same moments in their life. That's uh, that's where it's all about, you know. And that, that's I'm hoping that this taping will bring it to a bigger level where you know maybe somebody sitting in the middle of you know. Taipei, Taiwan, and they watch it, they're like, that is, that is my, that is my life. And my story is being told, you know, through a different person's mouths, but that is the story. And, you know, I think that joy is something that um, you can't, there's, there's no hotel that's gonna, you know, encapsulate that. So that, that's the, where the real treasure is. 
I do little things to connect with people. This is my favorite thing to do right now. Like after a show like this, I like to stand outside on the street next to the venue as people come out. I'd be like, hey man, that was a great show. I'd be like, oh, that wasn't me. And you can see their fear in their faces. You know, in their head, they're going, oh my God, I'm racist, I'm racist, I'm racist, I'm racist. I don't know why Asians complain when people say we look alike. It's amazing. I can slap any right now and try to use a casino. You can't find me. I'm fucking invisible. <laughs> It's great to be able to, you know, run the hour so many times. And I, I think I did a calculation um, in my head, and then using my calendar, I think I'm gonna be able to run this hour 45 hours um, in the next three, three months. So, you know, it doesn't seem like uh, it's a lot of work, but with every hour that passes by, it's, you know, you start to really see it building up. And it's, it's, it's interesting how I transform as a person. Um, also through these hours. The funniest moments come from, not from any fabricated, you know, fiction or something. It, it comes from life. If I was planning my life out, this would never be written in. Like, I wouldn't write this part into my life. But I'm doing it. And it's, you know, it's moments like this that's the, the humor that comes out, right? The people I meet in the clubs, people I meet on the road, traveling, stuff like that talking to people, um, and then reporting those back to my family and going home, they're like, what was it like? And you know, those are the things that um, comes out as genuine um, happiness, I think, for me, anyways. Um, and there's one thing my dad taught me is, if you're gonna do something, do it to the end. I think what he means by do it to the end is, if you're gonna participate, participate fully. You know, do all the things that you gotta do. Grind, struggle, do all that, because um, that is where the, the true meaning comes out. This is my all the way. And I'm participating, I'm part of it, and I uh, hope uh, I can bring that moment to everybody soon on March 28th. And that's my time, you guys. It's great to you guys so much. Give it up again, everybody. Keep it up for Ed Hill, everyone. Yes, awesome. Thank you guys so much for coming.